I'm going to be running a 1500 watt treadmill, 1400 watt refrigerator, 1200 watt washing machine, and a 255 watt 65 inch TV. All at the same time on my 1800 watt Delta 1300 portable power station. Now my wife will be using the, uh, the treadmill for 20 minutes and after that we'll shut it off. The washing machine should go 30, 40 minutes, somewhere in there. But I'm going to keep the uh, refrigerator and the TV uh, running for the remainder of the hour. Now this is not about the Delta uh, 1300. Uh, it, it, it's a great portable power station, but, but so is Blue Eddy and so is Jackery and, and many others. This is not about that. If it were, then I would just plug things in and say, ooh, look, look, put it on YouTube, look at it runs, it runs like a coffee maker, you know, and, and all excited about that. Um, what this is about is knowing ahead of time what I can run. Now, I have not done this before. I haven't run all of these at the same time. I don't need to, to know it will work. This video is, a, is a, basically a teaser video to promote a three-part uh, instructional interactive video series that I'm, that I'm in the process of making for people who are brand new to this subject and want to, uh, to buy a portable power station and, and learn how to actually use it, how, how, to, how to manage the power, figure out what they can run on it, how long they can run it, and, um, uh, and manage it in, in power outages. This video I'm going to be posting soon um, it, it's, it's not meant to watch passively. I, I actually I'll have worksheets for it, questions, tests, everything. It's all free. It'll be on the YouTube channel. So uh, just check out the link up here. If, you, if the link's there now, then it's up. So go ahead and check it out. If not, just uh, maybe uh, subscribe and, and hit the little, that little uh, bell um, button so that uh, you can be notified when I post a video. All right, so that's, that's, uh, that's what it is. It's an instructional uh, video coming soon. And I just wanted to kind of promote it with this one. Now, don't try this at home, um, and, and I'm serious about that. Don't just start plugging things in and, and hoping it'll work. That's, that's the point of the video, not to do that. Um, so don't, don't try plugging up. You can damage your appliances, you can damage the portable power station, and you might even injure yourself. So just don't start plugging as much as you can in to see what it'll take. Um, not a good idea. So uh, I, I, I've calculated, I guess it's going to be about a 60 to 65 percent state of charge when I'm all finished. It's 100 percent state of charge now. So uh, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. This is my 1500 watt treadmill, 255 watt TV. This is the uh, 1400 watt refrigerator, 1200 watt clothes washer. All run at the same time on my 1800 watt Delta 1300 portable power station. Now I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. 100% state of charge. And now I couldn't run I couldn't run all four um, three pronged outlets on here, so I'm, I'm using a power strip here. Now I'm going to plug the refrigerator in right now. Turn on the uh, the inverter. Okay, and now the refrigerator hasn't kicked in yet. When it does, I'm going to plug in the TV, start the washing machine, and my wife is going to go ahead and do her 20 minute workout on the treadmill. So I'll be back in a second when, uh, when the refrigerator kicks in. Okay, the refrigerator kicked in. It's, 100, it's running 108 watts right now. Now it's time to plug in my TV. Okay, and go ahead and start the washing machine. And now she's going to start her workout on the treadmill. So, about 360. TV's running. And she's starting up the treadmill. Let's go see how things are looking in here real quick. All four appliances are running right now. 500 watts, just about.
and my wife's just doing a, a warm up here a little bit. Pretty soon she's going to incline this to cause more of a load. So we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, everything's working as expected. Treadmill, refrigerator's on. This is the refrigerator core. Washer. About, about 600 and some, oh, there's a thousand watts, see that? 800. Check back in in a minute. Okay, checking back in. 1300 watts, 16 did. Okay, uh, so the washer is still running and refrigerator is still going. TV. And now um, my wife's going to go ahead and crank up the incline to uh, 10 just to cause more of a load. Okay, my wife's been um, on her incline now, or what is it on? 10? Mm -hmm. 10 incline right now, trying to create some load here. Okay, so I'll check back in a little while. Okay, she's about done with her 20 minute workout. So I'll go ahead and shut it down. TV still going. Now what I'm going to do here is we know that this everything's been running for 20 minutes because she did a 20 minute workout. Starting for 40 minutes. I want to run the TV and the refrigerator for a remainder of the hour. So the TV's on. Refrigerator. It's about eight minutes left on the wash. Okay, the wash is finished. So we're down to 81% state of charge. And so now the, the uh, treadmill was finished and the uh, wash is finished. Running the refrigerator and TV for another 30 minutes. So they will have a run for an hour. Three, two, one. Okay, so my television and refrigerator been running a total of an hour. So let's check out the state of charge on the Delta. 65% state of charge. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, maybe you could share it, like it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification button um, so you can find out when uh, I post my three-part video series on how to figure out what you can run on your portable power station and how long you can run it. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.